Howdy folks, welcome back. First off, we're going to do a fair use disclaimer. Any images or video used in this video are for non-commercial, non-profit, educational purposes only. This work is distributed free of charge. It's not monetized and there's no Patreon. So here we go. Okay, since there's not much activity going on around the sun today, I figured we're going to do another tutorial. And I wanted to go back and uh, cover some video and some images from this last year and a half that were overlooked or explained away as fake or uh, Photoshop. So this is one of the most important captures I think we've ever had. What it's showing here is this is video taken from the International Space Station looking over the curvature of the Earth here at a sun halo out in space. Now we should not be seeing a sun halo out in space. There are no clouds, no particulates, no plane farts out in space to cause a sun halo. So I believe what we're looking at is a stellar core right here coming in between the sun and the earth. And you can see that this is casting a shadow down here on the earth. And I'm going to put this into motion and I want you to watch this because you see how it's going up and down here. Now, as this pulls up and goes away, you're going to see the shadow rescind. See how it creeps in and then rescinds back as this moves up and down? Then once this clears, you see how bright it gets down here? See how bright the earth is as that goes into shadow? See that? Okay, you're going to play it again here for you. I want you to watch this lighting down here on the planet as this shadow casts across the earth. One more time, because this is very important that you guys understand what's going on here. Light is bending around this object, like gravitational lensing is bending light around this object, and it's casting a shadow on the Earth. So in that last video, you saw how close that stellar core came to the Earth. I believe that these are also entering our atmosphere and interacting with our atmosphere and absorbing energy from our atmosphere, like in this photo here. And we'll put this into motion here for you. And this was captured last year, I think, over Thailand somewhere. And you can see this, way, this strange little ball of fire in the sky. Okay. Just one more time real quick for you. Okay. Now here's another image. This is a different image from the last one. This was caught not too long ago, and I did a video on this one too. And you can uh, see some kind of round circular object, which I believe is a st stellar core, as it's interacting with the atmosphere and absorbing energy from it. And then here's another image of what appears to be one of these stellar cores inside the atmosphere, and it's between us and the sun. It's not causing any gravitational lensing because it's not perfectly aligned, but it is casting a shadow up into the sky, and this is only seen when it's lit from behind by the sun. So you can only make out the, the curvature of it because the sun's behind it, casting a shadow and, and illuminating the outside of the object. Now these objects absorb and bend light. And here in this image, it appears that there's a stellar core right about here. And it's drawing material up out of the Earth, plasma or some kind of uh, photon energy out of the Earth. It's bending it right in this zone right here. It's actually absorbing it. It's hitting the surface of this core right here and the rest is bending around it and going back down into the ground. And I'll put this one into motion for you so you can see this. 
Now, a lot of people poo-pooed this and said it was fake or it was photoshopped, but I think it's because they don't understand and they have no explanation for what they're seeing here. So I just want you to take a peek at this one real quick. And you can see this material is moving. It's arching and draping over this object as it interacts with our atmosphere. This is probably a bigger sized core that's, uh, that's interacting here. And it's actually drawing material up out of the ground, out of the, the surface of the earth. Plasma is coming up, reaching out like this, just like it does on the sun where I show you these things arch out and reach out and hit these objects. Just like the sun arch or the, um, you know, these arches on the sun. This is happening here on the earth as well. One more time for you, and you can notice there's buildings down below, there's trees blowing in the wind. Uh, this doesn't appear to be, to me, like it's photoshopped or faked. I think people are just saying that because they don't understand what's going on. And if one big one were to get close to the earth and inside the atmosphere, this is the... Uh, the result I would expect to see. I mean, this is something that we need to look for here pretty soon because we're having these cores now are interacting with our Earth more than just the sun. Now they're interacting with the Earth. So, so don't be surprised to see something like this happening again. And uh, I just wanted to bring that to you, and I got a little more. And then this was just captured the other day. What appears to be another one of these black stellar cores right here in the sky and another one over on this side in our atmosphere. And here's another shot of it with a different filter. Mr. MBB does a good job with these and running them through the filters and stuff. One more filter here where it really stands out right here and there's a little feature that he talks about right here this could possibly be even a smaller stellar core orbiting around this bigger one or you know right next to it so we're seeing different size cores with different kinds of reactions okay so not only are these stellar cores causing disruptions in the atmosphere but their gravity, much like the moon's gravity, is causing tidal surges and retreats, much like this one captured right here. We'll put this into motion, and this is just recently of a two-mile stretch of water that's just missing. There's no earthquake, there's no tsunami coming, the water just retreated, much like the moon does a low tide and a high tide.